Good morning, everybody. Happy last day of school. Yay! I'm going to read you a book that is appropriate for today. It's called The Night Before Summer Vacation because tomorrow is summer vacation. Yay! Twas the night before leaving on summer vacation. My family was bursting with anticipation. Dad made a checklist, which he checked as he went, the bug spray, the backpacks, the umbrella, and tent. Mom grabbed the graham crackers and stuff for the s'mores. We carried out helmets, the canoe, and the oars. Remember my raft, my snorkel and bike, plus Petey's doggy bowls and Jimmy's new trike. Down from the attic, our suitcases came. Mom whistled and shouted as if roughing a game. In bathing suits, in flip-flops, in sunblock and hats, in flashlight, in lounge chairs, and wiffle ball bats. To the top of the pile, to the top of the heap, now pack away, pack away, five layers deep. We stuffed and we filled every inch of the shell. Like a water balloon, it started to swell. Done with our packing, we ate dinner at last. Then we got out the scrapbooks of vacations past. There were photos of us at the Museum of Toasters and my father and I riding fast roller coasters. There's Jimmy on Babe and me with Paul Bunyan and there's Mommy beside the world's largest onion. We laughed about trips we'd taken before. Our week at the beach did nothing but pour. It was so cold that we all wore our fleeces, but we finished a puzzle with 2,000 pieces. At last it was time to climb into our beds where visions of marshmallows danced in our heads. In the morning, Dad shouted, Get up! Rise and shine! It's quarter to four! Let's leave here on time! Then a few moments later, there arose such a clatter. We ran to the window to see what was the matter. When what to our wondering eyes should appear? But Dad, the camper, and a long trail of gear. He chuckled and said, Let's hit the road before our camper decides to explode. We all squeezed in, then drove down our street. I suddenly cried out, yikes, we forgot Pete. Dad made a U-turn and Pete jumped inside. Now we were ready for the 10 hour ride. I heard Jimmy ask as we drove out of sight, Mommy, are we there yet? She said, with luck, by tonight. I hope that all of you have a wonderful summer break. We had an awesome year in first grade this year. You're going to do a wonderful job in second grade, and hopefully I can um, get to see all of you soon um, when we go back to school make sure that you come visit me. Okay? Bye guys.